Hey y'all, I'm here. So today I'm going to talk about how to sync the main Gen 2 repo with Git instead of rsync. If you haven't heard about this being a thing, you might be wondering why you would want to do that. And the answer is that it just syncs way faster. At least in my experience and in the anecdotal experience of various random strangers online, which is always the best source for anything. So, to start with, honestly the bulk of this process is just going to be edit to slash etsy slash portage slash repos.conf slash gen2.conf and this file should exist. If it doesn't, I kind of wonder how you've been syncing up to this point, but if you need to copy it from somewhere else, you can also find it in slash users slash share slash portage slash config slash repos.conf, which is just the same file but a different name. See, so once you got that, just point a text editor to it as root. And most of the changes are pretty self explanatory. Change sync type from rsync to git. Change the sync URI from whatever rsync one to this one that I'll also put in the description https colon slash slash gitweb dot gen two dot org slash repo slash sync slash gen two dot git not sure whether this trailing slash makes a difference or not but that's how I have it and it works on my machine so I'm just leaving it then I'll say just anything any lines that reference rsync, just comment them out or get rid of them. I'm pretty sure none of these open PGP key lines are being used anymore. I think that's an rsync specific thing. Probably tied to sync web rsync verify signature. But it hasn't complained about me having them, so I've just kind of left them in. And then the other important change is adding this line for clone depth equals 10. By default, this is set to 1, which makes for a really fast initial sync and generally leads to HTTP 504 on any sync attempt afterward. And higher values might work just fine for this. 10 is what I heard is good and it's been working for me for probably like a month now so yeah. Once you've made those changes just save and quit and there is one more step that you need to do before the actual sync. So if you try syncing now It'll complain that the repo directory it wants to use already exists and isn't empty because it does already exist from rsyncing. So for now, just sort of rename slash var slash db slash repos slash gen2 to basically anything else, so like keeping it in the same directory but calling it like gen2 rsync or something, which is what I did. And renaming it should just be a temporary measure. You can very safely delete this to free up some space after you've successfully synced via git once or twice. 
then once you've made sure that that Gen 2 repo directory doesn't exist anymore, you're all good to just email sync dash r gen2. I don't know why I threw a v in there. I think that was just hardcore muscle memory. I don't think it does anything in this instance, but yeah, just email sync dash r gen2. And once it's synced, probably couldn't hurt to do an update and a depth clean afterward. I don't think that syncing without an update breaks things as badly or as immediately on here as it would on a binary based distro, but still kind of a good habit to be in. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully it helps you save some time on updates. And uh, yeah, have a nice rest of your day.